Okay, and here is also the scar stick holder, what belongs in here. And now we can see that this area in here, it, it changed these gears. And we can actually, actually look in that side. And now I show that how to replace number one. It goes in here. And we can look that gear stick area also. Okay, now we can see that when this is like zero, and then when I like to number one in here and look, this part moves. And this is like number one, and then number two, and then number three, number four, and number five, and then this reverse is in here, and in that position, there is reverse in here. And in that view, we can also check that this is like zero, and then when I replace number one, it goes in that area, and then number two is in here, and number three is in here, four, and five, and reverse is in that side, and a little bit forks and in here. Now we have reverse. And we can also look that, that how they, these gears move in here. This is like number one, two, and let's go to look that area. Okay, and in here I saw that again there is like zero is that, and look at movement, and then number one, number two, number three, four, five, and then reverse is in here, and in, in that area, and this is reverse. And then let's go to look that joint. Okay, and now we can see that how this joint really moves, when we have first, this is zero, and then number one, it means that this soft and the gearbox axle goes, goes out, and then number two, it is like inner, and then number three, and number four, and number five, and then reverse, this is in that position, a little bit in here, and there is reverse. Okay, and then this part in here, there is this drive axle in rear wheels, in that one. Okay, good. And then I saw that how to disassemble this BMW's gear stick and these joints. Okay, and then how I can disassemble this BMW's this gear stick and then this gear stick joints to this uh, manual transmission or of course in automatic transmission. Okay, and first thing is that we have to understand that now, when I am changing gears, this is like number one, and then number two, and this part, this soft, makes this movement. And first step, when I start to disassemble this my gear stick, is that I, that I have to take this my gear stick knob away. And it happens so that, that I rotate that, and actually there is no any need for rotation, there is only this soft, and this is easy to out, so that I only pull out that, that in this way. And then BMW's gear stick is free. And look, there is this hole where this gear stick goes. Okay, and then next step is that when I look in this inner area, there is this joint in here, and then I have to take this metallic bar away, and this part is easy to take out, that, that I only a little bit move that, and there is normally a small metallic pin in here. And there is normally very small metallic pin in that area, and now I, I have all, already I removed, and I took it away. And now this is so easy to take out, because there is this hole, and then I only I install this my shaft in this hole back in that way. And I move that my gear stick, then this shaft is easy to take out and also easy to install back. A little bit movement and, and then this shaft in back. Okay. And now when I take that part away in here, then this is quite loose and then I can go to take this part away. And this part is also easy to remove. We only need to take this metallic pin, pin in here away 
and also in here I ha I have I already took that metallic plate in here away. It is like locking plate in here, that side and also in here. And then when we install this my soft packs, it is easy. It is only in that way, and then I install that in here, and it goes nicely that hole. Okay, let's. There's this hole, and we can also look that closer. Okay, there's then this hole. We can see that there's this installation hole, and that part is possible to install in that direction also. But maybe this one is better in that side. Okay, good. And then, when I have took the first part away, I have next part in here. And there is then this locking pin. For that opening I need now flathead screwdriver and I, I have to move that up. This is the trick in that way. And then I only I only take that pin away that way. And there is this metallic. It looks like that. It is this metallic. This is locking mechanism and there is this metallic pin. And it goes nicely through in that area and then locking is in here. Okay, here is this locking mechanism and then in that way I can take out. Okay, and then when I like to install this my gear stick back, firstly this part in here, look, there is that area and then this one in here goes nicely and then only movement in here okay now wrong direction in that side and then in here there is this locking pin then then I need to press that in here and now this joint is free uh, so, sorry it's lock lock and then this metallic bar it goes in that way good and then this area and then this connection point in here, a little bit scarstic movement, and then this my shaft is in connection. Okay, good, and now it is in fine. And the gears are moving, and the final part is to install this letter boot in here, and then gear stick in right position in that way and, and let's go and rock and roll and now BMW is ready for new driving. Okay, thank you my friend for watching that video.